everyone, it's Tuesday. Hello from rainy Sweden. Actually, very rainy and <laughs> very cold Sweden. Hello there, Christian. I see you're in chat already. You're going to join for a few minutes? Well, you're more than welcome to join for a few I almost forgot there was a stream <laughs> time already. I was uh, looking at uh, brush see what I had left to do and it's not that much it's like it's a lot of telling of course you know that I can go crazy for you like everyone who's seen my fever scope knows that I can go a little bit crazy but figuring we're going to do a lot of the detailing substance this time I was like okay you know what I can turn to the sculpt details very soon but First, let's just like do a recap before we do anything or like fiddle on it. Hello there, Dundee! How are you doing? So, for that, I have opened Maya and I have started exporting some lessons from ZBrush. So, I can't really import my high poly sculpt here directly because that would, you know, eat up the Higher computer, so it would basically be impossible to do any of So, therefore, I've done some things, but I didn't really get far yet. So, what I have is the, the flap, uh, the metal pieces for it, and I have this belt here with the buckle, and that's basically what I have so far. So, I will. Uh, I will start to retop on those things and we will see if I can do some destination while being streamed. I know that's fast, but computers tend to pick up a lot of, well, not the computer, but OBS when I'm, just, I'm using it to stream client and pick up all the memory I have while I also uh, see brush. So it hasn't been the recipe for success so far to be just heavy computing. Stuff in ZBrush while streaming, but we'll see. We have a few things to start off with at least, so that's some. Oh, Dundee, you will be also working. What are you going to work on? Hey, Leslie Bell, hello. You're an inspiration, thank you for. Oh, really sweet, thank you for what you're in company makes uh, streaming way more fun people are uh you know the company talk are you doing some math painting but man i wish i could draw i wish i could um i guess i mean with uh, some practice i would be able to but i don't have the patience to actually do math painting exercises so um yeah no I guess for, for another time, but I, I still wish that I had the patience to do it. Um, okay, so to make things easier, I sometimes, if I have a block out already in um, Maya that I've been using for fresh sculpting, I tend to uh, reuse it, so I have the block out here. But since I'm moving a lot of things around ZBrush, it's never gonna fit. So whenever I whenever I have something, I still always test. Then we'll bring the um, the model that I, the block out I was using. Check like how how off, and you can see it's pretty it's pretty off. But we can use this one as a base uh, for for the retopo. So we only need to clean it a little bit start like adding volume or detail and so on so it saves me a little bit of time usually i don't do a block out in my own but since i did this time might as well reuse it we are going to hide or this so before we start with that let's clean up and with that I mean everything that I've been using like support. 
Hello there, Aslan. How are you doing? How was my... Uh, are you tired today, Aslan? That's usually when you come like that. It's tired. Just for what do you mistake Starting at the all silhouette. Have some um do a little well snuggy. Thank you for the follow. Uh Christian, your computer was running till lunch on the rendering day. Started it last night of dinner time. Oh man, I don't have envy you. Um I remember we had to do AO bakes for real time, like game crashes. Like you still had to bake the AO map. You would like basically you work. Uh, you would like put it on baking AO baking, and then you will leave work, uh, and then you will come back the next day in the morning and see if it was done and how many errors it would have. You had to do it again for the next day. So I uh, I know how it feels waiting for renders done though for the different wait for the final render compared to AOM again. If I see the AO pr process, they the bake. Mm, depends on the software. The one that we had like had back in the day was XCOM, and yes, you can see small cubes taking place. Um, so yes, but software is now. It? Um, I don't know. I usually press the button. It's usually either too fast or um, yeah, it's either too fast or like I I am doing something else like have it in the back. I actually haven't thought about that. I definitely had different loops going on on the top section of this uh, bag while down here I was like, eh, <laughs> put a block out. But yes, didn't really matter, but just let me see how uneven the block out.
hearing so many side. Okay, so we have adjusted the overall shape on it. Now we have a lot of sections. Oh, Christian, that's nice, and that's the same thing out well. You see what's uh, coming out, but sometimes it takes so long that it's torture to wait. Right. Well. It's good that you can see what's happening, though. <laughs> that would, would have been uh, way more awful if you sit there and you know, right? I guess I actually did it. On some of the Mr. Kramer, how are you doing? It's all good, Kramer. That's good. Uh, what bra?
What is it called? Like, can... See that they actually had a help uh, window here. But... Oh, here we go. Start with the that. That's why I couldn't see it because it was like on the So. Hello there, Ron. How are you doing? You doing great? Oh, that's good. There's something with my mic. Isn't there always something with my mic? Okay, so wrong. What is wrong with my mic this time? <laughs> you are always the only one who hears it? Well, I guess it depends on, or maybe you people used to shy. It's lag I don't know, let's uh, ask the chat. Does it feel like I'm lagging super hard when I speak? Depends. Or lagging. Sounds good, bro. Oh, it sounds good to Kramer, I mean. You hear it too, Christian. Okay, it's a little bit choppy. If I add some noise filter, Rome. Uh, might have been from the previous, not the previous stream, but it's like, what's it called? From the cake cake. Let me see if I can do something about it. Does this make it better or no difference? Maybe uh, this helps? Not different. I like the not different. That is a lot better, you say. Well, interesting that you say so, Rome, because I added a noise filter. <laughs> but yeah. 
There's some static noise from the background. Hmm. Do you hear the music? Do you hear the music? Yeah, I've been thinking about maybe uh, moving my microphone. It's like up here. But, you know. I've been thinking about like having it closer and see if that helps. I have a sock on my mic. <laughs> As a... I don't know. It helps. Okay, I've been thinking about having it very low, like, in camera view, but I also felt that that would look really stupid. But you know, if that makes the sound uh, better, better to maybe have a stupid mic in my head instead, right? As a pop filter, yes, I have. It's from the chat when we were talking about it in our talk, uh, like people adding socks to their mics. I was like, I'm gonna try that. And I've had uh, a sock on it the past, I think six or seven streams. I'm not sure if it helps, but it definitely helps for me banging my head in it. So yeah, that's something. Hello there, Billabong, how are you doing? If it's a Pokemon sock. <laughs> no, this one is a thicker one with flowers on it. Very girly sock, but it's black with um, white flowers. You good, Billabong? Well, that's good. No, it doesn't have a nice machine print, uh, Aslan, because I want to wear the machine printed socks, not put them on my mic. Because then I'm missing out, right? If I add the machine sock on my mic, I can't have it like on my foot, so... And that would be sad, wouldn't it? Are you sad now, Aslan, because there's no machine sock on it? <laughs> well, you can't have everything, alright? Oh man, I really hate um, this tool sometimes. Instead of me painfully hitting my hat from the mix, it just makes a subtle bonk sound. Okay, so now it moves away from the mesh. Okay, well then, we need to have around 0.5 surface office, uh, office offset, I mean, for it to be noticeable, I guess.
used to like this quad draw better, but since the update, I'm not too sure anymore. Good old quad draw, yes indeed. It's like, it works but it's not the best either, but it works. prefer uh, using this though compared to ZBrush Retopper tool, so that's uh, it's better at least. Hello there, Siri. How are you doing? Aron, you using a uh, ZBrush retopo? Is that what you meant? If so, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> you working on your portfolio, Siri? Well, that's... Uh, I was gonna say interesting, but I don't even... I haven't seen anything, so... If, if you want to... Feel free to show what you're working on. I always find it interesting when uh, people are showing what they're doing for portfolio. Because it changes all the time as well, like... It's almost like different trends in portfolio sometimes. Why did he do that quadra? You mean it works, it's not the best, but it works. That's you. Okay, now I get it. Oh, you deleted everything you had on your art station, Siri. And you know, redoing everything. That's cool. Like you redoing all your artworks or like presentation and uploads or renders and stuff like that or just like you scrapped everything and you're now gonna start from scratch Oh, you had a few things and a friend of yours is helping you since he's in the industry. Okay, cool. Reworking on things, giving you tips, etc. 
Yeah, Siri is already in the Discord, but that's great, Rome, that you're doing uh, commercials for the Discord. <laughs> Feel free to join the Discord, as Rome here is uh, also posting uh, the link in the chat. Easier to just bridge these things together. bridge. Love it. Okay. Well then, we have to bridge uh, stuff separately. You regret nothing, bro. Whenever you send someone a link to the Discord in the chat, it always comes in some lurkers to join. <laughs> well, keep at it, Ron. Eventually, you will have everyone in there. Ah, now I see. I see. This one decided to move itself quite far away.
control. Hello from Mexico. Well, hello there from Sweden. Oh, Siri, I'm a very calm person. Am I? Maybe I am. I haven't really thought about it. It's the same in my interviews. <laughs> but that's good. I guess it's better to be uh, thought as a calm person than a chaotic person. Billabong, you agree with the statement? <laughs> oh man, here I thought I was uh, high on energy and uh, always making a noise. Joking aside, uh, that, f that feels uh, very not me, no. Oh, is that some Zelda music? Oh, it is. The Zelda music. Skyward Sword. <laughs> Rune, what's that? Unless we talk about puns or Aslan. In that game, case, Kim turned into the Doomsday. <laughs> Oh, maybe. I have some trigger points. Bad puns are one of them, yes. Or pa puns in general, but all puns are bad, so... Billabong. Dragonfly is also like that? If that's a European thing. I haven't really thought about it. Is it? I don't know. I guess you you are comparing to um, where you are from, like America. Ranox, thank God you thought you were the only one who hated bad parts. Oh no, it's like I can't stand them. It feels like and you. It's just cringe. Um, yeah, no, I can't take it. It's uh, too much. Oh, Billabong, it has to be. All American women you met are pretty high strung. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a culture thing, maybe. 
I would say most Swedish people are very calm, but maybe that's just an outside. Maybe they are like not as calm for real. I don't know. But I haven't really thought about myself as a calm person because that's not really how people, friends of mine, would like describe me, nor like colleagues and stuff. Or maybe they would say that I'm calm, but what I've heard from people is that I can be um, um, outgoing and happy-go-lucky feel, but when uh, when needed, I can feel very cold and intimidating, apparently, um, and very like affirmative. Um, but yeah. This depends on the situation. Siri, when people don't know me, I can seem cold. Yeah, that might be, uh, might be it. That's also what I've heard, like, first in impression might be that I'm very cold um, but for me it's like when I hear that I'm just like have you ever thought that I might be a bit shy maybe maybe that's why I'm like maybe people feel like I'm a bit cold just because I'm a bit shy around meeting new people oh no I did I move too many birds no wait I didn't is very fiddly, I must say. Are you waking up, Kay? No? No, okay. No, he just adjusted himself in the box. My cat, he's like, no. Not time to go up yet. sleepy or maybe not now he's moving again <laughs> is the cardboard box maybe not to your liking Kay I wonder but all cats love cardboard boxes Christian, as nice as this music is, it's completely unfitting for your current picture you're rendering then. <laughs> so peaceful. Uh, Sui, I, yes, I am a lead artist. What's above that? You mean like title-wise? What's above like a lead artist? Uh, I guess it depends on the studio. Some would say lead artist is just like a temporary title you have for like one project. So that would mean that you're in the same level as a senior artist. Some people would say that senior artist comes after that. Some people would say senior artist is under the lead. Uh, art directors are definitely always above the lead. But doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that that's like the next career step. 
uh, to take to become a art director. So, um, it can be many other things. I'm the polar opposite of Cole, but on the hand, you wouldn't like to see me angry. <laughs> I become this like raging uh, bear going on a rampage when I'm angry. People should flee the country. No, but. Yeah, when I think about it, maybe I am a bit terrifying when I'm angry. I don't know. Hello, Flat. How are you doing? what the next step would be you mean for me like after leap i am still in production uh christian um there are some people like leads that are only managing and then there are people who are doing both and some people who are more still in production than managing it depends on the company again there's not really any I wouldn't see any standard for these things like titles and job descriptions yet in the industry. There are like a few, like basically everyone can agree that a senior is something you become after you've been a regular for a while uh, and that you're a junior before you're a regular. But how long you have to work before you become a regular or how long you have to work before you can become a senior that is very very debated and it's different for every company and yeah specifically also what the lead does and doesn't in every company is also very different so i guess maybe it becomes a little bit more standard um with time maybe i guess we will see switched to Japanese. But to go back to like what I want to do, like my next step CUE, I am very unsure what I would like to do, honestly. I have no clue whatsoever. Who knows? Maybe I should try my hands on something else. I always been interested in the animation and rigging, but then again, it's also like, <laughs> should I, should I really go into that? Mm. I guess I have a few more years to, you know, decide what I wanna do, or I just, you know continue being a lead for a while. I 
around the nicest people are usually the scariest when angry. Like if you know someone who has a bit of an ass, you're not surprised when they get angry. But if it's someone you... But if it's someone like... Oh, like me, get angry, you know something bad will happen. <laughs> well, let's hope that you will never see me angry then. I have a, I have a few uh, times where I'm like more prone to be angry, like you know, tri trigger points I would say, but it's not that I get angry that often, no. Like I hate it when other people badmouth other people when they are not present, that can get me angry, but not like, you know, shouting angry. For that, you would kind of have to do something really stupid. Oh, Flat, you finished your character a week ago and you learn... Are oh, you learning face anatomy now? Ooh. Also something I want to try at some point. Do characters and see if that's fun. My logo, you have a question, you see often artists with... Oh, you see sometimes artists that has a logo, and the K-A is my logo. Oh, it stands for my... Uh, it stands for my name, Kim Ava. So it's my initials, as Christian said. Um, but... Um, why make a logo? For me, I made a logo specifically because I am streaming and I, I don't know, everyone else had a logo and I was like, I want to have a logo. That sounds uh, or it seems neat, so I'm also gonna have a logo. And then I made a logo. <laughs> and then I was like, hmm, I need to print some business cards. Oh, might as well use my logo. And then I did. So I think people, uh, especially people who try to build an identity uh, or, you know, art for themselves, like they're freelancing or making a brand, they make logos. And it's quite important uh, to make a logo so people can recognize that it's you. Become an astronaut, Aslan? Oh man, can you send me to space? I will gladly become an ast astronaut if uh, someone can send me to space. Fighter pilot. <laughs> mm, not not too sure if I wanna be a fighter pilot, but you know, flying seems nice. Be a pilot, I guess. Pilot or astronaut? Yeah. If I if I can get someone to teach me how to fly or get like me on a training program to be an astronaut, I would uh, totally sign up today. Uh, Aslan lives in space. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if he does. Maybe he does. But I, uh, I, I think that's an interesting question when people ask, like, what do you want to do, like, in the future from now on? Because it's very common that you ask people that for an interview uh, when they start a company, like, where do you see yourself in five years? And people go usually like, oh, your job, or I want to become a lead, and then they realize that <laughs> becoming a lead is not as nice and dandy as it sounds sometimes, depending on where you work. If you become a, like a manager instead of doing content, um, but that's like usually what you hear. But when I think about it, what do I want to do? I don't know. It feels like I became a lead very fast, and I wanna 
I guess work with that for a while but yeah honestly I don't know because um, I don't think I want to be an art director either because that's a lot of responsibility and the res <laughs> responsibility I think I don't want to have so um, in that sense I'm like yeah I don't know. I'm trying to ask my dad some, uh, myself sometimes, like, what do I want to do? Because I don't really know. Do I want to continue with 3D? I have no idea. What, do I want to do animation? Maybe. Do I want to do something else? Do I want to try, I don't know, make movies? I find it very hard to uh, answer those questions. It's the same like if I have a dream project, I'm like, no, not really. Like that I would like to work on. Don't think so. Hard questions, people. Try 2D. It feels like if, if I'm gonna be a 2D artist, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a lot of, lot of, lot of time investment in that. And that goes back to like me not having any patience with it whatsoever. I've been trying, trying to draw at some points. Uh, I can only draw manga and anime. So that's also like not gonna be beneficial for me. And I can't really draw manga and anime very well either. So I can't become a manga artist either. So yeah, no. I think yeah, the 2D is probably um, <laughs> probably not my call in life. <laughs> Though I very very much would like it to be so, but it's just um, yeah, drawing is hard. Specifically, like concept and stuff. you found that it's important to have like a five-year plan for yourself even if you said plan changes you had a goal and idea how to achieve it and it's important for one's well-being yeah I have, I have been very goal oriented but it stopped basically two years ago because I thought that like basically when I started studying I was like my plan was to maybe be in a triple-a studio in ten years and I would do some indies before that but I ended up in a triple-a studio immediately and within ten years yeah, it's been seven soon I became a lead artist so I'm like yeah I think it went too fast and I was so goal-oriented for my own well-being so now I'm like I don't really know. I have other goals in life though, like not to, for my career specifically right now, but I have goals uh, in life, like I want to visit all the countries on the planet. So I have a <laughs> score book with that, like writing down all the countries. And so far I visit like 30, was it 29 or 30? Oh no, it's 29 because it was going to be my 30, but then it was canceled this spring. Um, so that's like a life goal I have to visit every every country in the world, um, including Antarctica. Um, that seems like a really cool place. So a life goal like that. I also want to climb most of the mountains. Like I climbed Fuji uh, in Japan. I want to climb some other tall mountains. I want to do some like dive. I have a diving license as well, scuba diving, so I want to go and do that um, in all the places that, um, yeah, the biggest places for diving, basically. So in that sense, I do have a lot of goals, but it's just not, it's not oriented, like career oriented anymore. It was career oriented, but then that changed quite a lot, like the past two, three years. So that's more like 
the goals I have. As for career, that is still something I guess uh, will be very undefined for a while. See, making cartoons. Flat? <laughs> Kim will start making characters if you like it. Maybe my next project should be a character. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Learn how to make characters. Start the some of the clean up here. <laughs> what about making your own game? And then I was like, I read it, and it's like, yeah, that would be interesting. And then you basically posted an idea for it as well. Make a G uh, GTA, but you will play as a cop, and whenever someone will make a pun in public, you will shoot. <laughs> so you basically would play me as an avatar, you mean, hating on people doing bad puns. Is that what you're saying? It feels like you're saying that. I don't know, I think... It would be interesting to make my own game, that's for sure. Hello, Kay. Hey, Kay, Kay. Oh, you're going. Okay. Bye bye, Kay. <sighs> Having my own studio sounds uh, like a nice idea, but it's also. I wonder. There, there ought to be a lot of things that I don't know about having my own studio that is really <laughs> not nice. Um, oh, it's actually angled. Is that something that will be visible though? Um, maybe actually this. As nice as it sounds to have my own studio, it also feels like it's going to be a lot of hassle to manage paperwork and all the other things that's necessary f in order to have it running. So it's like, and who is supposed to manage that? Well, it sounds really boring and, and I don't want to be the one doing that, so. Sometimes it feels like I'm missing 
my hotkeys. Or maybe I used to forget. I did recently up, uh, update Maya, so maybe, maybe that's why. work on it alone with a few people you don't even need an office well if so if there is something I have learned now while working from home it's that it sounded nice and dandy and was like almost like oh it would be nice to work from home like even before corona it's like something that was like oh that probably very nice and now no no <laughs> I like it's not nice working from home. I would really like to have an office uh, or be in the office in that case. So in this instance, I would say, <laughs> no, it's not that nice working from home. You would need an office, at least me. I miss, uh, I miss people. I'm going crazy. Like just ask my cat. Cat thinks I'm crazy too. Like I'm talking to myself, or well, talking to the cat. But the cat thinks I'm talking to myself. So sad without me and yeah, that's true my cat would be maybe my cat would maybe miss me maybe speaking of cats you hear that okay hello come on come on don't just stand there come he's like suspicious to my enthusiasm come here ah. here we go have you seen that I put my mic here instead? Can you see that, Kay? Yeah, it's weird, right? It's in the way, basically. It's in the way. It's covering some of my hotkeys. Can't really see them. Come on. Kay says hello to you people. Hello. Hello. You're not amused, Kay? No, you're not amused. It's like, where is my food? Where is my pet? Okay, it's a he though, Ron. It's a he. Can't you see that? Did they just call you she? Did they just assume your gender, Kay? Oh well, Ron did. Oh, back in the box. Ever since I left the box there, next to my uh, desk, he's been sleeping there when I'm working and stuff. He seems uh, to be content with uh, the box placement. <laughs> I guess on this inside though we can remove a lot of the um, extra loops because we won't really see the silhouette in the same way
Okay, I think that will, that will probably do. around the music eyes are closing well the next song is starting soon so maybe maybe that will uh, yes it up a little bit or maybe not no never mind <laughs> doesn't sound like it we all about Zen today and calm and relaxing Rome. <laughs> That's not better than at all. <laughs> Slower music than usual, I would say, in the playlist today. I don't... Yeah, I don't think it's getting better in general in this playlist. actually switch the music if it's uh, that like making everyone sleep for the bigger bigger silhouettes then we can do the bake and then we can start by moving maybe a little bit more because I don't think we need all of these up here I 
Let me see, Rome, what we can do. Is this music gonna be happier? Upbeat. No. <laughs> He's sleeping. Round. This is a little bit more upbeat, I would say. Calm, but still a little bit better, maybe. At least in my opinion. the follow So remove that extra line. It's only here that we made a giant bulge, so. Bag. The stream always makes you want to bust out your Super Nintendo and li relive the glory day of your youth. <laughs> oh man, I love uh, old uh, retro games. I bought like those uh, Nintendo um, classic when they came out, like both. Um, Oh no wait, I bought the, bought the Super Nintendo one, but not the um, regular Nintendo Entertainment System one. But I also have my old machine, so I uh, w wipe off the dust sometimes and bring it out and play some. Those games are amazing. They were like... They were never never really aged because they're like pixel graphics, so yeah.
So I guess this is where we are starting to notice again more uneven geometry. Like here and up here. So that's when we start to make it a little bit more unique on both sides. So, on the inside here, we can also delete a lot of them, because we will have... How much of it will we see? We will basically see nothing. Yeah, it's open just very, very so slightly, so... be fine. Masaki, how are you doing? a few and then we'll just continue adjusting the solid. It's time to remove some of these things here as well. Christian, next time you expect me to sit there in a coquille outfit if I play any music again. <laughs> uh, sell the outfit, huh? I 
I really wanted to do cosplay before, so I actually started doing a Link outfit, but yeah, I never finished it. Let's just say that I <laughs> grew tired of it. But I was like many, many, many years ago as well. I don't even remember when it was. time as a key. Yeah, I figured we would do some low poly and then um, do some test picks and stuff and then we can do some more detailing on the seabrush sculpt. Like, the silhouette is there so instead of me sitting there being super nitpicky uh, might as well just, you know, finish um, the retopo and then I can sit there and be very nitpicky again. Bro, that reminds you of what Aslan once showed you. Mm -hmm. What had Aslan been showing in the chat room? <laughs> Pick it up again. Continue my cosplay. Mm. I have a lot of other things that I want to do. Like... I can show you. I I have a. <laughs> People here are gonna think I'm a super nerd now. And yes, I am. Just I'm just gonna embrace it. I have uh, this thing. It's the one piece boat from. Uh, yeah, well, one piece. It's the merry-go-round. And it's one of those uh, things you have to do actually a um, construction out of. So you have all of these plastic pieces and you put together uh, the boat and then you paint it. So I have a lot of other things that I need to do here. Um, like putting together this model boat, like in real life 3D, I call it, instead of like um, doing it in the uh, computer. Then I have other things like uh, this one. It's like a three-dimensional kit you're supposed to put together. Um, so I have some instructions here that I'm following. I got some glue so I can stitch it together. Uh, finally, so you're supposed to put it together a lot of pieces. So I have a ton and ton and ton and ton and stuff like these things, like really nerdy but uh, crafty things uh, that I occupy myself with rather than doing cosplay. Which is like cosplay has been it's been fun, but I'm not that. I wouldn't say. Yeah. I wouldn't say creative because I am very creative and I can build things, but when it comes to like trying to build a 
piece of metal and it's like I have like this memory foam I'm supposed to carve out metal but from foam and then spray paint it that's you know that's just too much um, but if I have like construction kits like this that makes it a whole lot more fun um, and get to do some nice fun stuff um, in the meantime it's just Cosplay, you have to think a lot for yourself. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I already do that a lot with 3D. I just want to have a break in my in my brain from all of those things. So see that we have a lot of cleanup to do but we are slowly getting there Let's have a bunch of craft streams. You're sure demanding a lot, you know. Craft streams. Hmm. Isn't it enough if I'm streaming 3D for you, Aslan? Huh? I don't think people will be interested in seeing me assemble like a one-piece boat from plastic parts, though. So skeptical, Aslan. <laughs> uh, yeah, always when you're doing suggestions. Of course, I'm always skeptical. It's like, oh, Kim, you're going to make food. You're going to have dinner today. How about stream that? It's like, <laughs> no. I'm not going to stream when I'm cooking dinner. doesn't like the no home eating. Typical Kim. Uh, yeah, if I could have someone make the food for me, that would be great. I don't like cooking, no. Christian, people watching people build Lego? <laughs> I assume that those people building Lego are really good at building Lego though. Uh, 
this part here. How much will we see? Well, we'll see the fla uh, flap going up here for sure. Are they building according to construction plans? Oh, I get it. But there surely are people building without the construction plans as well, though. So we can do more clean up and adjust the things here with silhouette once we have the bottom part in place as well. Thank you for the follow! I think this will be the last thing I'm doing on stream today and then I will jump to discord instead which is good then that Ron is posting the join the discord <laughs> um, I can also just say that in about two weeks we're gonna have a um, art jam in discord like a small little jam uh, where we build I can't speak and do things at the same time where we build uh, something based on concept and this time it will be different it will be like a mood board provided and it will be like a challenge running for like two uh, two months roughly and uh, yeah if you feel like joining I'm not gonna say yet what the theme is because that's something I'm gonna tell everyone in like two weeks. A few people already know, uh, but not everyone. So don't don't go and spoil it. Um, but yeah, that will be uh, something we'll be running. I have to finish this thing before I can uh, participate as well. So well, uh, I'm gonna work hard to finish this. Um, saddlebag before then so if you're interested in joining and doing uh, some new art pieces i suggest that whatever you're working on right now um try to uh 
finish it within two weeks, you can join. I can also show a little bit what we have done previously on our jams. <laughs> yeah, I'm fi favorite happy is cherry jam. <laughs> um, so let's see, we have the art jam one. That was the concepts for it. And let's see, it was a long time ago I did this. Um, but that was the three concepts we had and people could choose if they wanted to do a stylized or a realistic take on them. And these were the results from the lovely people in uh, hanging out in Discord, the final submissions. There were a few more people who attend, like, you know, were in, uh, in the RGM as well, but um, they didn't have time to finish, sadly. Then we had the second one, that was this one, with the Japanese theme on it, so, so like some shrines and... Um, yeah, the knife that I did myself. And this is the submissions for that. In general, we have like four people <laughs> submitting every time. Uh, and for the third jam, which is actually the one I'm working on myself right now, it's these pieces. And I did a art station uh, blog post with all of the entries we had. And for this one, we actually had six people manage to finish. And I myself, in sadly enough is still working on this one which means that this time this time people i am going to finish this one before the jam actually starts because that has been uh my main uh, issue for not finishing uh myself in time that i have been working on the other stream project at the same time so this time i'm gonna make sure that i don't have any stream projects going so i can completely focus on getting this one done. Hard to do multiple things at the same time. Done you finishing before the art jam start? You mean I'm finishing an old piece though before the art jam starts? The the next art jam I haven't revealed yet. <laughs> but yes, very soon I will um, reveal what the theme is for art jam four. Uh, Daniel, that makes a whole lot, lot more sense. Yeah, no, I am finishing the old art jam. So no, 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 no. That means that I am just very far behind in, uh, in wrapping stuff up. So what we could do is actually, we could just do like this and then add one more here and then we don't have to make geometry for this one. Should have thought about that before I started uh, collapsing everything here.
So what we could do is we can either not care about these bulbs here or those are the ones that we can actually make, make like floaters for. So those we can actually add small little geometry that sticks out for like very small. Of course, I made this buckle, or whatever we're gonna call it, look a little bit uneven, so... Something like that. Call them buckle pins for a lack of word so they stick out a little bit but it's easy to load them away and still keep the detail underneath intact like the normal map was still be there all right people i am going to uh actually pop off now to uh, Discord. Um, probably gonna continue a little bit on doing the retopo when I'm in hanging out the Discord. So for anyone who wants to join, uh, join us in uh, Discord. Um, yeah, thanks for being here. I can also see that Dragonfly just jumps in. Uh, so hello Dragonfly. I am going to go offline now though. So, uh, yeah, I guess I have two weeks uh, to finish this piece before the, the art jam starts. So I'm gonna have to do some retopping in the background. And um, I hope everyone will have a continued nice evening or a continued nice day. And I will see you in a week, uh, unless we see each other in Discord. Take care everyone and have a nice day. Bye-bye.